Hi, welcome to Noble Forensics. I am Saumya. So here I am explaining about the list of forensic courses which are present under the QIT PG exam, which is common university entrance test, especially for the PG courses, postgraduate courses. So here I am explaining about the forensic courses, MSc forensic courses, uh, the list of forensic courses and also what are the list of universities under, I mean in which universities those forensic courses are available. I am just going with the website. So this is the QIAT PG or Common University Entrance Test PG 2024 website. So if I am going with the syllabus, so you can see different uh, uh, syllabus, different papers, their paper code and here you can be able to download the syllabus. So I already explained that forensic science code is forensic science code and also criminology code. Uh, which is SCQP 13 and also SCQP, uh, no, SCQP 13 for the forensic science and SCQP 10 for the criminology. So I just explained that to two already in the uh, as question paper code and these all are the different uh, uh, syllabuses you can download accordingly your subject. So here I am going with uh, uh, the universities and also the different forensic courses. Here in the universities list there is different universities you can see assam university and also banaras hindu university central sanskrit university central university of gujarat central university of haryana so there is list of different uh, central universities private universities state universities and also different deemed universities are present so for that for understanding about that university which is useful to you for your pg course first you have to check the different courses so here especially I am going with the forensic courses so I just search in the search box as forensic. So when I search for forensic so different universities and whatever the degree and program it is offering and also eligibility of the program it is there. So I just go with this uh, uh, university name and also which degree it is whether MSc or MA or whatever the degree whether it is integrated BSc and MSc and also whatever the program name means entirely it is forensic science or there is any specialization in the forensic science. So first one Apex University which is offering MSc Forensic Science. Then Amity University MSc Forensic Science and Amity University is also offering MSc Cyber Forensic and Cyber Security and in the Amity University Punjab. So the last two are Amity University Noida and this is Amity University Punjab is also offering MSc Forensic. Then uh, this one uh, Bahra University Shimla Hills it is offering MSc Forensic and Banaras Hindu University MSc Forensic Science and Centurion University of Technology and Management Andhra Pradesh is offering MSc Forensic. Then University of Delhi MSc Forensic. So MSc Forensic nothing but MSc Forensic Science. It is entirely about the Forensic Science. Then Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwavidhyalaya MSc Forensic Science. So here I just add one note. So in the India the first university which was offered Forensic Science is Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwavidhyalaya Sagar. That is the first university uh, which is offered offered that MSc Forensic or Forensic Academics was offered first by Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwadhyalaya that is the best university in the India. Next, so GD Goenka University Gurugram offering MSc uh, Forensic, then uh, Guru Gasida Vishwadhyalaya MSc Forensic, then Gita University, yes Gita University Panipat Delhi uh, offering MSc Forensic, then Galgotias University MSc Forensic and uh, KR Mangalam University BSc MSc Integrated Forensic which is integrated dual degree both MSc and BSc, I mean both BSc and MSc. If you get uh, uh, QRT PG entrance test uh, uh, I mean in the uh, you if you get good rank in the QIT PG entrance test for this uh, the, I mean if you selected this university then you can do both BSc and MSc then KR Mangalam University MSc Master of Science in Forensic Science then Modi University of Science and Technology MSc Forensic then Pondicherry University it is offering PG diploma in criminology and forensic science see it is PG diploma course in criminology and forensic science then uh, uh, what is this Ra oh my god Rayat Bahra University MSc Forensic then uh, uh, RNB Global University MSc Forensic SGT University Master of Science in Forensic SGT University again Master of Science in 
psychology so here msc uh, psychology with forensic it is not a normal forensic it is psychology and forensic see i just read it psychology applied psychology health psychology etc master of science in psychology and forensic both combination then sharda university offering msc forensic then uh, Tirthankar Mahavir University MSc Forensic Vivekananda Global University MSc Forensic Vikram University MSc Forensic so these all are the universities they are offering MSc Forensic courses or MSc uh, this one uh, forensic and psychology course and also PG diploma in forensic uh, uh, science and criminology and also we uh, yeah this one so it is offering BSc and MSc both integrated dual degree of BSc and MSc Forensic Science KR Mangalam University so these all are the different universities so for these all universities the question paper code is same scqp 13 scqp 13 and also uh, yes uh, almost all are having this scqp 13 and if you see here pg diploma in criminology and forensic science it is scqp 10 so scqp 10 is nothing but criminology syllabus criminology syllabus for this uh, for opting this pg diploma in criminology and forensic science in pondicherry university you have to write the criminology paper and also uh, here so for the psychology and forensic uh, msc psychology and forensic there is separate question paper which is HUQP20. So that is that syllabus uh, uh, which includes psychology related syllabus also. So to opt this uh, course you have to prepare for that syllabus. Next, next. So I have seen here uh, somewhat different question paper code. Yes, it is here. So for opting MSc Cyber Forensic and Cyber Security, you have to prepare for SCQP 09 code. In the Amity University, Noida, it is offering MSc Cyber Forensic and Cyber Security. For that, you have to prepare for the syllabus, which is SCQP 09. So in the next video, in the separate video, I'll explain about the syllabuses related to these all the forensic courses, forensic and also criminal criminology and the cyber forensic courses i will explain in detail about the particular syllabus so here the eligibility for the particular program so for reading it it may become the bigger video or longer video so i just to go with the uh, few eligibility criteria i mean uh, eligibility criteria of few uh, universities so usually for msc forensic 50% uh, in bsc with the forensic science or chemistry physics mathematics botany zoology are equivalent so in the BSc you have to pursue uh, science subjects science which includes either chemistry physics mathematics or biological sciences also then for msc forensic and the amity university again bachelor's degree in science so any kind of bachelor degree then coming to this amity university noida for msc cyber forensic and cyber security so bachelor's degree of four years in engineering or bachelor's degree or in forensic physics chemistry mathematics or biology so that is the eligibility criteria then coming to msc forensic science courses in different universities the eligibility is almost the same bachelor degree in science with including forensic science or without forensic science also for example if you are doing bsc uh, botany zoology chemistry then you are eligible if you are doing botany botany forensic science and chemistry then you are eligible for example botany bio, botany biochemistry and chemistry botany biotechnology chemistry botany zoology chemistry zoology biotechnology chemistry zoology micro biology chemistry then for all i mean with this all you are eligible for msc forensic science if you are having forensic science in the bsc then also you are eligible so what is the benefit with having forensic science in the bsc level is you can prepare for that particular scqp 13 question paper very easily because you have already learnt many things related to forensic science in the bsc level so you can easily crack this question paper and you can easily get the good rank in the uh, this at pg test so you can easily get the good rank and you can get the good university i mean you can get the pg forensic science seat in good university so these all are the eligibility criteria and these all are the universities which are offering the forensic science so i just search here for the criminology so you can get an idea about it uh, in the whatever the criminology which is available in different universities i just go with the university name degree and the uh, program Next, so Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Delhi, which is offering MA Criminology. Next, Dr. Harising Gaur Vishwadhyalaya offering MA Criminology. Then, Mewar University offering LLM Criminology, that is LA. 
then mewar university also offering llm in criminology and penology it is offering llm criminology and also llm criminology and penology then pondicherry university is offering pg diploma in criminology and forensic science we have already learnt it in the uh, last forensic uh, courses only then uh, R&B Global University offering MSc Criminology. MSc Criminology. So I just to go with here. Uh, the eligibility is graduation in respective or allied subjects with at least 50% marks. Then Sardar Patel University of Police, Security and Criminal Justice offering MA Criminology and also MSc Criminology. Then uh, uh, the yes. For Sardar Patel University of Police Security and Criminal Justice, MAR, MSc Criminology, the eligibility is graduate in any discipline. Graduate in any discipline. Whatever the UG degree you are having, you are eligible. Either BSc degree or BA degree. So in the BSc, whatever the subjects you have studied or the whatever the uh, this one, whatever the graduation you are having, you are eligible for doing MAR, MSc Criminology in the Sardar Patel University of Police Security and Criminal Justice. The question paper code is SCQP10, which is criminology syllabus. So in the next video, as I said, I'll explain about in detail related to syllabus of criminology, forensic science. Then TIS. Tata Institute of Social Sciences, TISS. So it is offering MA, Master of Arts in Social Work, which is having criminology and justice. Next, Vikram University is offering MSc Criminology. So, minimum 45% in UG with respective or allied subjects. So, that is the eligibility. Only few universities are offering Criminology when comparing with the Forensic Science. So, these all are the uh, universities and also these uh, I explained about the Forensic Universities and also Criminology Universities. So, in the next video, I will explain in detail about the syllabus related to this particular, uh, what this particular um, uh, uh, forensic science and also uh, this criminology so i hope you are uh, understanding this uh, whatever the forensic courses and also universities in the msc so in the qat pg uh, 2024 there is different forensic courses which are in uh, bsc and msc integrated forensic courses msc forensic courses and also msc criminology msc ma criminology courses are also available in different uh, universities i'm uh, almost uh, i covered that all the universities present under the qat pg for the forensic and criminology courses so for the syllabus and in detail explanation about the syllabus just go with the next video in the same channel